Gatlin Downey in the 37, bringing us to the green. Can Mitchell Cross get a run? Get a win, and Ben Crouch is gonna take the win here at Pocono. Side, side by side, side. Go it's gonna be oh, yeah, a right. walk away. Huge push on the outside, 19. Nine. And then down to the stripe, it's going to be Mike Fink Jr. in number 38, winning. Moves him up! Here comes Jesse Orski to the inside. What's up everyone, it's your boy NS Race 95, aka Nathan Safnia, and we are here at Pensacola Super Speedway and we are and um, we are here for Team and I Way Heats for the 2020 and our 2003 big one. The biggest big one yet, eight different leagues, one of them in total different drivers and um, fifteen drivers for Team and I Way and after tonight we, we, we will know four of those spots um, for Team and IOA, and next week we will find out who will get that final spot in the LCQ. In heat number one, we have the 44 of Val Mosco, the 46 of Trey Smith, the 40 of T Tyler Mills, the 50 of Quentin Moore, the 49 of Chase Butt, the 38 of Charlie Davenport, Christian. Focus in the 42 and returning driver Ryan Kendall in the 52. Here we go, top two will make it into the sh show for Team NIOA. Heat number one for the NIOA heats is green for the, the 2020 NIOA 2003 big one. Lap number one of Heat Race number one was led by the 44 of Val Mosco. And um, all eight of these drivers fairly accomplished, um, some more than others. Um, Chase Butt first start in the United Way, at least trying to. Um, Ryan Kendall making his return. Um, Quint Moore, probably the most experienced in, in this Heat Race, either Quint Moore or. Um, 42 of Christian Vargas, but everyone else is pretty somewhat new in the NILA. But Chase Buck out front in, um, in the number 49. 10 laps, and the top two will advance into the main event of the NILA 2003 big one for 2020. Chase Buck out front, Vargas in second. He has the current transfer spot after two laps, but still eight laps to go here in the seat race. Only the top two make it in. Everyone else, they have to make it through the LCQ, and with the LCQ, only the winner makes it through. So it is fairly tough to make it into the main event of, of the big one. But if you can, it will be a amazing thing to do. Top four single file, and it is. Um, never mind, Fargus trying making it to the inside, and Kendall trying making it three wide. Ryan Kendall making his return to the line first time since um, the Rebel Cup Series season two um, finale back in January. So, great return for Kendall, and he's trying to make it into the main event. Kendall going to try to get to the inside and he will. He's in the transfer spot right now. He was in second and now he, he's out front. Why Kendall out front here at Pensacola Super Speedway? These guys going two on the 
in 20 miles per hour here at Pensacola super super fast and we will see this all month long for the, the NL 2003 big one Kendall out front Fargus currently has that second spot but the 44 of Foul Moscow trying to take it away from the 42. But, but Quintamore helped Fargus down the bat stretch that time by. But with these long turns at Pensacola, you have to be on that inside lane. Four cars on the bottom, four cars up top. Charlie Davenport trying to make it the way wide. On the inside, but he has no help behind him. Halfway through this qualifying, he waits five laps down, five laps to go. And the thing about this um, is that these heat races is much harder to get something to work than what it will be once we get to the main event. Because the main event will have 40 cars. These heat races only have eight. And, um, eight or seven cars each and then up the LCQ still only has 11 so this is nothing like they're gonna see in the main event on July 25th and right now it's still Kendall and Vargas out front and I believe Vargas led that lap and he did so Clint Moore keeps on giving a massive shove to the 42 of Christian Vargas, and that's allowing him to maintain his position inside the top two. But Charlie Davenport back there in the 38, he keeps on trying to get to the inside of, of Trey Smith, and that's what keeps on affecting this inside lane and slows it down and helps that outside lane. The outside lane is formed up and it is maintaining the ground. Three laps to go in heat race number one for Team and IOA and for the 2020 NR 2003 big one. It's been Ryan Kendall and Fulgus for the most of this heat race. And it might stay that way with three laps to go, but still mo nine miles left here at Pensacola, Florida. And now Trey Smith going to make it three wide in the middle of this pack. And that's going to allow him to make some moves. And now, that outside lane is not as formed. But Fargus still has that transfer spot in second. But he's not going to be able to get to the inside before the 44 got to Fergus's inside. And now Moscow is in that second place spot with two laps to go at Pensacola. And now Moscow goes to the inside of Ryan Kendall. Kendall with no help, trapped on that top side, and that might cost him. A transfer spot here at Pensacola. One lap to go. Three miles left. Two will make it into the NR2003 Big One and four team in Iowa. Top two advance. Last time by it was Moscow and Kendall. But Trey Smith, he's came out of nowhere. I'm in the number four. Sits. He's trying to take the second away from Ryan Kendall. But the 49 of Chase Buck is going to make it the lead wide for second. That It's pretty safe to say that Moss goes in. And Chase Buck might have just gotten in as well. A three wide move. And they are four wide. Chase Buck trying to go for the waistband, but he won't do it. But he's going to be in. A three wide move. It's going to turn three and four. 
and the top two that will make it into the big one for Team Anime and Heat Race number one will be the 44 of um, Fail Moscow and the 49 of Trace Bot. But for everyone else, they will have to try to win the LCQ next week here at Pensacola, Florida. Tyler Mills, um, Trey Smith, Ryan Kendall, Quint Moore, Charlie Davenport, and Christian Vargas. They will all have to try to make it through uh, the LCQ and win the thing if they want to make it into this year's big one. We are not done here tonight at Pensacola, Florida. Um, one heat race down, but we still have one more heat race to go. And that will have the other seven drivers battled out for 10 laps. And the top two will advance in that one. So, um, congrats to Val Mosco for winning heat race number one. And congrats to Chase Butt for getting second and advancing in, into the main event. And um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to heat race number two here at Pensacola, Florida for Team and I away. Heat. Welcome back here at Pensacola, Florida and, and at Pensacola Super Speedway. And we are set to kick off heat race number two here at Pensacola and for um, the 2003 big one for 2020. And um, 10 laps, seven cars, and the, the top two will advance straight into the main event and will represent Team and I away. But for the other five, they will have to go to the LCQ next week and try to win that thing. So, here all the seven cars for heat race number two. We have the 39 of, of Travis Rampton, the, the 51 of Casey Nanako, the 43 of, of Mitchell Collins, the 37 of Jacob Thibodeau, the 48 of um, Darian Onsdorf, the 45 of, of Jason Day. And the 41 of Noah Clifton. Top two will advance. Who will make it into the main event of the 2003 big one? Let's find out right now. Here at Pensacola, Florida, for Team and Iowa Heat Race number two. Travis Crampton in the number 39. <clears throat> he led that number one. And he is out one here at Pensacola, Florida. Um, one of the um, NIOA members, the only NIOA member that is in Team NIOA. And he's trying to make it into the main event for, for the big one. Um, for this year, last year he was up in the booth. This year he wants to be in the race as a driver. But here comes Darian Onsdorf in the 48 up to second, and Noah Clifton, who started seventh, he's all the way up to third in just two laps. But as we saw in the previous heat race, we saw. Uh, um, we thought that Ryan Kendall was going to win um, He was number one, but then um, Val Moscow stole the win from him and Chase Butt stole second from him and Ryan Kendall um, Ended up finishing fifth in just a matter of half a lap So this track is really big a lot like Coca-Cola I'm um, a lot like Coca-Cola and it can change on the dime just like that but right now, Clifton is in second, and Darian Amonsdorf is in front, and those are the top two that would make it into 
be in Iowa, um, a full team in Iowa in the in our 2003 big one. But Noah Clifton, he's been hot in the Rebel Cup series recently, and um, he's trying to get a race win here at Pensacola and um, to make it into the big one for I'm pretty sure the second straight year. So that would be pretty cool if he can here at Pensacola. He comes to the 45 with Jason Day didn't um to the inside of Clifton and Day has helped from the 37 of the Bidel. Day out front, Clifton in second. Once, um, one thing that, that I'm noticing in this heat race is that because it's seven cars, not eight, that, that outside lane is much harder to get a uh, many progress um, with the inside lane having four cars and the top side having only three. So that, that might be something that we have to watch out for all heat races on. But of course, right when I say that, then there's four cars on the, on the top side and, and three cars on the bottom. Um, <laughs> The bill out front in the number 37. And here comes the 51 of Casey and Nanako. Crampton back there trying to get that Philly inside lane to work, but he has no help and he's gonna fall in behind the 43. Five laps down, five laps to go and Team and Iowa Heat Race number two here at Pensacola Super Speedway. The first year that the big one is here at Pensacola. And um, these guys are just playing it nice and calm. As most as most of these guys here tonight have not raced here before. Nana go to the inside of the 45. She will take second and currently has the second transfer spot into the big one. But here comes the 43 of Mitchell Collins and from help from Travis Crampton, but Crampton almost peaked his nose below the 43 of Mitchell Collins, but he couldn't get there. This team race has a lot more stat. Um, you have Jacob Thibodeau, who's really showing his stuff in um, the Power Truck Series um, and Red Bull Cup Series qualifying races. You have Mitchell Collins, who won this season's Stage 2500 in the Red Bull Cup Series, and as I say that, he made it three wide. Well, he tried to. I'm Trav Scrampton, he's a fairly solid driver in the NIA. And then of course you have Noah Clifton, a hot driver on a hot street. But right now, Thibodeau and Crampton, they are stuck on the top side. It was five cars on that inside lane, but now it's a little bit more even. Three laps to go at Pensacola, Mitchell Collins in second, and Nana Goat is out front. But Collins trying to get to the inside. Of an go, but he can't do it quite yet. He doesn't really have to go for the win, he just has to get second or first. But if it's anything like we saw in the qualifying heat race, it's not over until the checkered flag falls. Because we saw what happened to the 52 of Ryan Kendall, he should have made it. Down the bat stretch, but off of turn number four, he was out. So it can change on the dime. He at Pensacola, two laps to go, and he race number two for Team and Iowa, which will pay m m most sports teammates. Um, the 43 and the 45, maybe they will work together and get both of their cars into the show for Team and Iowa. We have to wait and see. Um, we have two trip Ganassi racing cars, the, th the 39 and the 41, trying to make the way into the show as well. Here comes Mitch Collins from help from Travis Crampton. Collins to the inside, but now they're going to force Crampton up the race track. But can he get a one through the middle? The way you for second here at Pensacola, and um, Mitchell Collins is out front. Where did No Clifton come from? He's going to make it three wide. And Armstrong is going to make it 4 wide, 4 wide for 2nd, 4 wide for the final transfer spot. 
Mitchell Collins might be safe, but I don't want to jinx him because we saw what happened in the qualifying race earlier. And now no Clifton, he's gonna get to the inside and he's gonna possibly get it done. Down the bat stretch for the final time. Mitchell Collins out front the, the Daytona 500 champion this season for the Red Bull Cup Series. And now no Clifton and the battle bound for second and meanwhile the four wide in the last row in the back of, of the seven car field. And coming off a of ton story four, Mitchell Collins will win he raced number two and Noah Clifton will come home second. And I'm pretty sure Noah Clifton is gonna qualify his way in V um V for the heat race for team and I race two years in a row for the big one. I could be wrong about that, but I, I think that's true. So Mitchell Collins and Noah Clifton, two great drivers here in the United Way, and they both make it straight into the main event and will represent Team NIOA in this year's big one. There you have it, Mitchell Collins and Noah Clifton advance into the show. Um, but then for Jacob Thibodeau, Jason Daly, uh, um, Day, Darian Onsdorf, um, um, Nanako and Crampton, they will all have to waste the win, fever the LCQ next week, and win the whole thing if they want to make it into the in our trust and three big one and grab that last spot. Wow. Crazy night here at Pensacola, Florida and at Pensacola Super Speedway. The four drivers that make it into the show for Team NIA are the 44 of Val Mosco, the 49 of Chase Butt, the 43 of Mitchell Collins, and the 41 of Noah Clifton. But then the other 11 drivers that will have to go through the LCQ next week and try to grab that one single spot win the lcq that's the only way of, of making it in the 11 drivers that will have to waste their way in and win the whole shebang in the lcq next week will be the 40 of tyler mills the 46 of trey smith the 52 of ryan kendall the 50 of quentin moore the 38 of charlie davenport the 42 of christian vargas the, the, the 37 of, of Jacob Thibodeau, the 45 of Jason Dady, the 48 of Darian Onsdorf, um, the 51 of Casey Nanko, and the 39 of Noah Clifton. A lot of high profile names that are going to have to go through the LCQ next week, and they'll have to go for that one single spot to see if who will join. Um, Collins, Clifton, um, Buck, and the 44 of, of Moscow that will represent Team NIA for this year's NL 2003 Big One. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching here at Pensacola Super Speedway for the Team NIA Heats. And um, until next time, um, tomorrow. Most likely, I will finally get the Power Truck Series Charlotte race up over a week late. A week late, but oh well. Um, and the next weekend, we, we will have the LCQ for Team NRA and for the NR Twitter and three big one. And also, next week, we will have the All Star Open, All Star Qualifying, and the All Star Race at El Dwarf for the Bull Cup Series. Next weekend is going to be fun. The next month and a half is going to be fun, very busy, a lot of races, and it's going to be fun, that's for sure, in the NIOA. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, congratulations to the four drivers that made it through the qualifying heat races um, tonight, Mitchell Collins, Noah Clifton, Chase Buck, and Val Mosco, and um, until next time, I'm in that racing 95 at King Nathan Station, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!